Hi, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and as people who've watched my channel know, I usually run the Omni 7 using the N4PY Pegasus Plus software. So you make adjustments to the radio or you use the controls in the software to make adjustments in the radio to do what you want to do. Well, what happens if, for instance, you want to run digital modes, but you want to run the radio from the front panel? How do you set that up? Well, I can show you how I do it. There's lots of ways to do anything, but I'll show you how I do it. So, to swap from voice operation, let's say, or CW, to digital modes, um, here's how I do it. And I use a signal link USB uh, external sound card plugged into one of the connectors on the back of the radio and that provides audio in, audio out, push to talk, all those things. So, if we go into the menu, set the auto tuner on or off, and I'm only going to go through the settings that uh, make a difference. So, set the auto tuner on or off as you need to. Set the transmit meter to whatever you like it to be. Transmitter on. Now this is my audio settings for voice. But I'm going to increase this to 3000 bandwidth and I'm going to decrease this to 100 hertz for the roll off. Keying loop is off. Audio source has to be changed. So in my case, as I just said, the signal link USB is plugged into the back of the radio. So I'm going to change this to line input, which is the connector on the back of the radio. You can also change it to both. But if you do that, that means the microphone is going to be live whenever you transmit, along with the uh, line output jack on the back of the radio. And you probably don't want to do that. You probably don't want the microphone active while you're using the connector on the back of the radio. So we'll just leave this set at line. Line gain is 50%. Um, and those are the important ones. Those are the things that um, I change. Now, one question I have, and I don't know the answer, so I'm just proceeding as if it's true. If the transmit audio settings are reflected in the connector, in the line uh, output connector on the back of the radio. Um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't, I don't know. But I'm pretending that they are, uh, so I'm going to make those changes anyway. And then the only other change, it might not even be a change, but if you go almost all the way to the bottom, go to speech processor, I usually leave that on for voice modes. And it's set to 42%, and there's a reason for that. There's a couple of email threads on groups.io uh, for the Omni 7 about setting speech processor. So, because I'm going to turn off the speech processor from the front panel, so the value can be left alone and uh, uh, just turn the processor off from the front panel, and then IO filter I leave set to auto uh, unless you have some local sort of power line noise like I do. And there's a video about that, uh, about conditions under which the noise blanker will or won't eliminate things like power line noise, etc. You can go watch that video. But and I'll generally leave this set to auto. And that's it for the menu settings. Now we go to the front panel. So, obviously, for uh, FT8, let's say, you want the mode, it's already set, but you want the mode to be USB. Um, step size can be anything, you're not going to change it. Um, passband tuning, be sure that is zeroed out. Um, bandwidth, I'll wind that up to 3000. And again, speech processor is now on, as you can see here in the lower corner. I'll turn it off. And, oh, depending on uh, if you use WSJTX, for instance, 
And depending on whether you set WSJTX to use uh, split mode or not, you might want to set A equal B uh, just in case it puts the radio in split mode and you won't have to worry about where it's transmitting because it'll transmit on BFOB. And then you can start your software and continue on as normal. So there you go. Just a little short video on how I set the Omni 7 up for digital modes when I'm running the Omni 7 from the front panel. So I hope this has been uh, interesting, if not particularly useful. And thank you for watching.